jellyfish fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Squidward. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Yes. Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. <laughs> and you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! <laughs> it's so funny. I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. No, I'm not bald. I'm alive. Yeah. According to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off the scale, Spork Mountain, and die a horrible death under the Spork Mountain? Of pig jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here. Bald up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Hmm. And I'll smack you in the face first. So this is the first level in the game. <clears throat> it's basically a tutorial level to teach you how to do everything. But in every level... Uh-oh. Here comes a robot. Boom. And the, yes, they do fart when you blow them up, which is funny. This is goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall in the goo. Yeah, you die in there. But as you can see over there, there is in fact a sock over the distance that we cannot get yet. That is a teleport box. If you get two teleport boxes, which it's actually over, um, over by Mermaid Man, I want to say, who's in this level. Spoilers. He, you can, um, not he. There's robots up here. You can use the, ow, bitch. You can use the teleport boxes to teleport across the level after you unlock them both, basically, is what it is. Give me this underwear. And this is a bouncy tree. I believe there's only, like, just this level that has these things. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Unless there's, like, later levels that have them. I can't remember. Boom. I know how to use tiki's. Not use them, destroy them. That's over this way. Another robot. There's a there's a stupid song that I used to sing to this when I was younger. That was to the music of this particular level. There is a sock right here. And as you can see, there's also some interesting lines of shiny objects over there. If you could hear my voice over that waterfall, that is ridiculously loud, but you know. Chicken, that crispy chicken, that crispy chicken, it tastes so good. Feed the clam! Gotta drop the load! Boom, SpongeBob references all over the place on purpose. Checkpoint! Whatever. If you die, you'll end up there. That's what that's for. And we still can't get over there yet because you have to go up. Don't worry about collecting all of the shiny objects. Just, like, destroy the tiki's and you'll have enough. That was strange, the way it did that. Can I get up here? I'm gonna get you. Get you, get you, get you, get you. Yeah! Bonk. And we can't even use this yet. A freezy fruit, only Patrick. You can be Patrick in this game. That's how you get that sock. You have to be Patrick. Get out of here, man. More bouncy. Get it, 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 get it. Did I get it? Yes. Ooh, there's tiki's back here. But I don't need to get up there anymore. But I do need to get up here. Oh my. 
Ha! How'd you like that? I need to get up on this. This one has the button? Okay. Come on, SpongeBob, grab the ledge! You're not gonna grab the ledge? Oh, fine, I'll use the tiki. Grab this. Oh, lord. Boink. Okay, now go over this way. Be very careful not to fall into the goo. This teaches you how to double jump, essentially. Oh, I almost died. There's another sock. And there's also shiny things over here. Just just take a look at this uh, rendered background. What are those mountains over there? The chum buckets over there, and there's like freaking mountains. And that's, that must, yeah, that's downtown Bikini Bottom with the sea needle over there. That's just a big ass rock. It's not just a boulder, it's a rock. And then, boink! Oh man, this brings back so many memories. I remember, uh, there was one weekend in particular, I had two of my best friends over. And we beat this entire game in one sitting. Like, we didn't sleep or anything. It was out in my, uh, camper. We had it out in the garage. And we- not in the garage. Out in the, uh, driveway. <laughs> the garage. And <clears throat> we just sat down, we played it, we traded off all day and all night to play it and beat it. Hell yeah! Except this, uh, you uh, actually bungee from your pants, so be prepared for Spongebob, but... I was gonna say that was a nice sound effect that wasn't there over the waterfall. That is way too loud at this point. Some of the uh, there's, there's there's some audio glitches in this game, but there's not. For being this old of a game, it was once again early 2000s, which is when I got all of these games. When I was probably mm, 12, maybe. I think this also came out in like 2004, three or four or five. I don't know. Uh oh, we got a new type of robot. It's a hammer robot. Right? Am I right? <laughs> There's more tiki's. Get out of here. And now after I defeat all these robots, wow, he's so proud of himself. I always like knocking these guys over. I don't have the bubble bowl yet. The ba ba ba. The ba ba ba. The ba ba ba. Now I'm gonna see if when I edit this, I can edit in specific Spongebob jokes. I'm not entirely sure I can without getting like copyrighted and stuff, but uh, I'll do it for the first couple episodes and then we'll see if it- if I get copyrighted, but you know. Like everybody knows Spongebob, everybody wants Spongebob. I don't have the bubble bowl yet, Squilliam. Can I get up here? No. What's the point of this then? Just to give me underwear? I want to bounce. I want to bounce on all of the things. Get out of here, you hammer bitch. Is there anything on top of these things? There's a shiny object up here. Boink! That crispy chicken tastes so good. That was my younger self that came up with that. Oh, I'm obsessed with fried chicken. <clears throat> it's magnificent. It's a beautiful, beautiful invention. Boom. And this is goo, I know. Come here, hammer man. Take that. <clears throat> that. Even that waterfall was too loud. Oh, come here, come here. Ha! Double! Should I get this shiny object? Is it worth it? Ah! Uh, it wasn't worth it! <laughs> Oh, now I gotta double kill these guys again. Oh, don't get me, don't get me! Bitch, I ain't going over there. 
What up, Hammer? That was my grandma's maiden name. There's a fun fact for you. Boing! Okay, bounce cross. You ain't gonna get me, sir. I am a master of bouncing. Boink. And this one brings you over here. And we get a sock. We have six already? Boink. If that doesn't make you sick, I don't know what will. Oh no, he's coming for me! Here's the other teleport box, so if you- Oh, not get stuck under it. You can go back to the beginning of the level if you want. It helps later on in different levels when you have to go back and get things. Uh, that machine huffing and puffing over there is a Duplicatatron 1000. What? What is- th What is that? What is- The D1000? What is that? Oh, the duplicate- Okay, I get you. Whatever. Basically, no matter how many times you uh, destroy these robots, if you don't destroy this, it will poop out some more of them. And it blows up, so don't get murdered from it. Boom! Another golden spatula! Sorry guys, I'm all out of pop! And here's the second part of the level. Jellyfish Caves. It just needs some time to load some more, apparently. Wow, Mermaid Man, I have all your comics. Oh shit, sorry. Oh, yeah. His voice is different too. Now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Uh -huh. Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Look at his arms. Look at how terrible that animation well, is. If massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. No. Oh, they're making me hit myself. You're not hitting yourself, Patrick. You're lying to yourself. Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Why are you scared about that? Now, this. Make sure you hit that, otherwise you have to go all the way back. Now, this is the fun part of the game. Watch this. You're sliding on your tongue. Isn't it magnificent? I think there's a sock somewhere over here. Yes, there is! I won't get that just yet because I wanted to explain a quick thing. I want to have, uh, there's somebody special over here that explains it to you. Or maybe there's not someone. Was it just a sock that was over there? Damn! That must be a, the second level or something. Well, we gotta do it again. Sorry, Mermaid Man. <laughs> Oh, the, I love the music in this. Isn't it magnificent? It's great. I use that word too much. Magnificent. It doesn't matter if you get all the tiki's. I thought this was a golden spatula up here, but apparently it was just a sock, so never mind. Don't pay attention to me. I've only beat this game once, but I've played through it too many times. When you hear this music, you know shit's about to go down. Hardcore. Bring it on. Basically, there's three duplicatatrons. You have to uh, blow up and hit the buttons, and then you can save Patrick. So right now, I want to hit the button first, and then blow this up. <clears throat> because if you accidentally uh, get blown up, you have to start over, and it sucks. Get away from me! Get away from me! Jeez. What up, bruh? Boom. Hit the button, and boom. But now they'll obviously be back. Ah! And now we have to do a little bit more platforming. A little dangerous platforming over here. This is nothing compared to the late levels. Like, they purposely try to mess you over. Fuck you over. Mess you over? Yeah, because that makes sense. 
Boom. Ta-da! Chicken, that crispy chicken, that crispy chicken, it tastes so good. Patrick! Hey, SpongeBob! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Wouldn't I be? Well, the robot and the. Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me poop. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Okay. And now we're Patrick. I love being Patrick. I don't know what it is about being Patrick, but it's magnificent. Now, this is... Uh, I kind of want to make this a shorter episode just because we got to something different. And you can be Patrick and you can still bounce on things. So this will be a little bit shorter, but fear not. The crispy chicken will be back in the next episode. So I will see you guys next time.